Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing a review on the Rick and Morty Funko Pop Pickle Rick. Now this is a pop that I've been after for a while and I'm so glad I managed to get this one. It's such a cool character and Rick and Morty is one of my favourite shows. As you can see I've got a Rick Pop in the background there in the display. But as you can see here, this is the Pickle Rick with the drills on his hands. So let's waste no time and have a look at the box. We've got Rick and Morty up there. It's 333 in the set, pop animation. Nice picture of Pickle Rick there. On the side, more art of Pickle Rick. On the back, all the others are available in the wave. And then on the side, not really much going on here. And then up on the top there, you can see a little thing of Pickle Rick pinking over. So let's waste no time and take Pickle Rick out of the packaging and see what he looks like. So here's Pickle Rick out of the box. As you can see, he slightly leans forward because of his rat-like legs. But that is an awesome pop. It is so different to your normal standard Funko pop because obviously he is a pickle. And um, let's take a closer look at Pickle Rick. I really do like the green colors they've used for this as well. I really like that. You can tell it's a pop by the face, and obviously the eyes, and the eyes are actually sculpted on with the eyebrow and nose that the mouth is sort of drawn on or printed on. It feels really weird to hold as well. It's like very like a very different Funko Pop. But as you can see, he's got his rat feet there with all the muscles and tendons. He's got the rat rib cage around him, just like the episode. And on the back, the detail is superb. We've got all the muscle and the brain there of the rat. And we've got all its spine, ribs, really nice colours. Some of it's still got the rat's fur on, as you can see here. And you can see the muscles leading up and round into Pickle Rick's head which gives Pickle Rick the power to move, which is really cool. And then you've got these really nice cool drill bits on his hands, which are awesome as well. I really do like those. They're obviously what he uses to kill all the other rats in the episode. And as if you would know if you've seen the episode, it is a bit of a bloodbath, and this is such a really, really cool pop. I really do like it. So I'm going to move this one aside for a second, and I did pick up this one also, Pickle Rick with Laser, which is also really cool. So we'll take a look at the front of this. It's Pickle Rick with Laser. The same sort of thing, but 332 in the set. Picture of him on the side holding that battery there. And then we've got the same wave at the back, same side and the same top. Now I'm going to take this Pickle Rick out, and we're going to compare them to each other. Well, that came out nice and easy. Let's get that Pickle Rick there. And there he is. First of all, we'll take a closer look at this Pickle Rick. And this little Pickle Rick looks a bit more damaged. He's got some battle wounds on his pickle there where he's been fighting. He's been fighting Jaguar. And there's his laser there, which is looking really cool. He's got his little rat claw holding on to that as well. That's really nicely done, that laser. It's looking really good. Really good details and colouring on it. They haven't missed anything. There's the tape he uses to make it when they're in that office as well, which is really, really cool. I really like that. And as we can see here, he's got a holster with all different sort of uh, batteries on it. He's got four batteries there and he's holding one in his hand because I can imagine this laser drains the batteries very good. But pretty much the same thing nonetheless. He's got the same muscles and stuff on the back. Just with a slight difference here that the rib cage is missing because he has been injured. And this is where he stapled a bit of pickle he found in a burger or sandwich onto himself, which is really cool to keep him from dying. This show is just superb. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So that's the major difference on the side of those ones there, that there's a bit of pickle missing. And obviously, he's got the battery holster. And he's taken a bullet to his arm there, which you can see he actually has a bit of um, damage there. Let me bring those closer, as you can see the pickle. Pretty much the legs are the same from behind. Uh, we've lost some pink stuff on this one, but pretty much the same from the behind as well. And then from this side, obviously, Rick's holding the big laser. And from the front, the facial expression's the same. That's Rick as he's just beaten all the rats, and he's really happy about that. And this is Rick as he's trying to fight the Jaguar. And he's not probably too happy as he had to staple a bit of gherkin or pickle to himself. So, guys, that was my review of both Pickle Rick Pops. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think they're brilliant, and if you can find them, get out and get them. And if you're a fan of Rick and Morty, they're must-have for your collection. So, guys, I hope you liked this video. Hit that thumbs up if you did drop me a comment down below let me know which pickle rick you like better and um i think this one is my favorite because it doesn't lean forward as much this one leans forward much more than this one but um yeah drop me a comment and let me know what you think is the best one if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe i really do appreciate it and if you have thank you very much and uh follow me on twitter and instagram links in the description below and i'll see you next time guys bye bye i'm pickle rick